Hey everybody, it's Rusto Rob. Today, um, we're going to take a quick look at some uh, box tools, uh, box opening tools um, made by Bonnie. Um, I'm going to do a clean up on it. Um, also, I'm going to show you some other things that I just recently picked up. Um, and a viewer mail from Pete. So let's get started with Pete. He sent this beautiful Bonnie file. I don't know if you can see Bonnie on there. But yep, it's a file and it's labeled Bonnie. So this is the very second Bonnie file I have. I've got a round file. We got ourselves an A18 vintage Bonnie socket. And he also sent us an E14, wait, an E1416, which is a half inch by 7 sixteenths double box, or double open wrench. And something I've been, I just kind of did a quick clean up on, I threw it in vapor rust overnight. Um, it's, it was in kind of pretty sorry sh shape, but, uh, it had the, uh, the Bonnie, the old fashioned Bonnie logo on there. I don't know if you can see that very well. The Bonnie circle, um, alligator wrench. Uh, I cleaned it up. I did, uh, super blue on there and I cleaned up the edges so uh, this will be added to the Bonnie wall. And um, unfortunately, um, the soundtrack was kind of compromised by uh, the neighbor's radio. So I'm, hopefully I can talk you through some of the things I I did. And plus with the sound and, and I wear a respirator when I'm grinding and stuff, not to get the metal dust down my throat. So, uh, hopefully I can ad-lib through this a little bit. And, uh, so, uh, without further ado, let's, uh, check out how I, uh, cleaned up that box tool. Here are the, uh, box tools before I started. You can see the rough beatings and the cast marks, um, from the factory and some use. I'm using the angle grinder with the uh, sanding disc and now we are on to our fiber wheel and finally we're going to use the hand sander this is uh, after the hand sander and uh, fiber wheel now uh, let's use some flits um, we're going to polish it up with our flits and then finish it off with some Carnuba Paste Wax. Some Mother's Carnuba Paste Wax. Well, I basically went from this... ...to this. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that restoration cleanup of the uh, box tool. So I'm pretty happy. Um, originally, they came in a black, but this is smooth as silk, um, with the exception of the prying part, but. Um, I doubt that I'll ever open up a box with this tool, but here we go. Um, this is what we have and uh, come up with. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed um, this quick restoration. Here is uh, what the wrench looks like before I started. 
you can see it's all rusted. Um, this is how I picked it up. So uh, now I'm going to put it on the wire wheel. Try to clean up as much of the heavy rust as I can. This is what it looks like after the wire wheel. And then I'm going to put it in evaporust overnight just to get the nooks and crannies. And um, we'll go from there. Here is the latest addition to the Bonnie collection, the Bonnie number no. one Ever Ready Wrench. We've got our baby Vixen onto our big Vixen. You can see the older logo right here, where this is a newer logo, older logo. Down here to this Bonnie Vixen. You can see the B shield. Where on this one it doesn't have anything on the back. And then this one also has the B shield. Made in the USA. And then this one's made in the USA as, as well. Um, stamped on it. Um, okay, down here. I haven't really done anything to this one yet. Um, but it's similar to that one, so I'm going to clean this up eventually and put some super blue on it. On to our little uh, polished bait um, hand um, bonnie. And you can see the difference in the teeth. One has the black, and then one just doesn't have anything. And then this is another Bonnie. I don't know if you can see it. Um, Bonnie Tool Works. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is send this down, clean this one up, and uh, polish it up. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with this one yet. And then we have our handheld alligators, the Bonnie. And I, I did a super blue on this one half inch, one and a half, and then we've got this one, one and a half, that I haven't done anything with yet, and then we have this uh, Bonnie here, um, one and three quarter, that um, was sent to us from Magdad, so here is our Bonnie alligator handheld collection. So here's an update on the Bonnie wall. So here is our uh, two wrenches, you will see, or two uh, box tools. You'll see how this one is cleaned up and this one is left alone. We got our Bonnie jab saw, brake tools, um, various type of stuff. This valve seat thing sent by Rick, Rick Hammer, thank you. That's why I put it next to the hammers. So, and then over on this wall, we're getting some stuff uh, added as well. And then up here, we've got our open end wrenches. Um, so yeah, this is uh, an update on the bunny wall. Well, hopefully y'all enjoyed this uh, restoration. And, um, as always, stay safe and check you later, check you later. Mm -hmm.